One of the big problems we have is that people don't know their lineage. A person will not know who his father is. And uh, this is, يعني, even, even the West, they've realized the, the danger of this, and they try to set up ways to determine the lineage of people. That's why they'll have all these paternity tests, DNA tests, they have these shows, and inshallah, I, don't, I, I hope you guys don't have these horrible shows where people who committed zina, they come, they do a paternity test, and then they show the, the, the audience and the world who, if he was the father or if he was not the father, and so on and so forth. They have shows like this in the UK, they have it in America. They're trying to, to combat this problem of people not knowing their lineage, not knowing who their, the father is. So that's one of the problems caused by zina. The other is that all these uh, يعني, venereal diseases or these sexually transmitted diseases from AIDS to, to herpes to all other kinds of illnesses. Now, يعني, is this the reason why a Muslim doesn't com commit zina, is that you will get a disease? One time in a Muslim country, I saw this big billboard sign and it was the silhouette of a woman standing in the street and a car stopping for her. And then it said, Ihdar al-Aids, beware of AIDS. And is this why a Muslim young man will not commit zina because of the possibility of AIDS? And what if the girl says, I'm clean? Uh, it's haram, of course. So it's a big deal. So we've got diseases, we've got messing up people's lineage. And we see that zina in society, when it becomes rampant, it actually leads to more zina, which is really amazing. Zina leads to more zina. This is a study that was done in the United States. They found that 82%, look how high this number is, 82% of teenage mothers are themselves the daughters of teenage mothers. Yeah, 82%, how high is that? So zina gets rampant in the society, it leads to more zina occurring as well. We see also, these are other studies from the United States, that uh, a, a male, a male or a boy born to a, a young woman in her teens, يعني a teenage mother, he's three times more likely to end up in prison. Three times more likely to end up in prison, a boy, born to a teenage young woman, 14, 15, 16, he has three times more of a chance of ending in jail than someone born to a normal family. Why is that? Maybe we'll look at that in a little bit. You know something? We want to blame worse sins like rape. Rape is a very bad sin, yeah? And it's one of the most, one of the worst ways a man could violate a woman. One of the, thing, one of the reasons why there is so much rape is that there is so much zina. How? First of all, the majority of rape cases, let's just pick on the United States, the majority of rape cases, they are what is known as date rape, where the man already knows the woman. The, the rape cases where a man attacks a strange woman, these are very rare, but more, the, most of the time, it's a man attacking a woman that he knows, and she knows him, and she trusts him to some point. Yeah? So, when someone is uh, accused of rape, First of all, a few rape cases actually, when a woman claims rape, 25% of the time the male is arrested. And then if it gets to court, that's another story. But the, the excuse for raping someone now is what? Zina. Which they make it as if it's okay. So now if a man rapes a woman, they take him to court. The first argument he has, no, no, it was consensual. It wasn't rape, it was zina. Yeah. Oh, it was zina? Khalas, ma'alish, then everyone go home. Yeah? Now imagine in Islamic court, a young man says, no, it wasn't rape, it was only zina. The judge will say, naam, ta'al hina. <laughs> ta'al, let's talk. It's only zina? Taib. So we see rape increasing because of zina increasing. And the results on society, all these unwanted babies and children that will be left in the trash, left in the bushes, left in cardboard boxes, and society has to come up with ways to deal and to combat these kinds of problems. So that's, in general, some of the effects of zina on the society.